Hello engineers, welcome to Chris Control Automation. If today is the first time you are watching my channel, please kindly subscribe, okay? Just hit the subscribe button, okay? Then hit the bell icon, select all, so that you turn on the notification to get all my videos. Alright, today we are going to look at automatic sequential circuit, okay? Automatic sequential circuit. Yeah, so over here, I have two contactors, okay? Yeah, we are going to use two contactors and then a timer, okay? This is an only timer, only on delay timer, okay? On delay timer. And then um, two push buttons, that is start and then stop push buttons, okay? Yeah. So if you want to understand the timer wall, okay? This timer, I've already done a video on that, that is part one. So please, I will urge you to go and watch the part one of this timer, okay? I carefully explained everything. So please kindly watch the part one of this so that you understand this timer work, okay? Yeah. So let's get started. Thank you. So this is the diagram, okay? The circuit. We have the stop push button, the start push button, the contactor one, okay? And then the timer. This is the on delay timer. The contactor two. These contacts are all normally open contacts on this contactor, okay? And there's an open contact on the timer. So let me begin the explanation. So in this circuit, it is an automatic sequential circuit. So what do I mean by this circuit? This circuit operates such that when motor one, okay, when motor one or contactor one is in operation, okay. Or when motor one or contactor one energizes, okay, the timer will also energize and start counting. So after the preset time, okay, the motor two or contactor two will also come into operation. It will also energize for motor two to run. So they are running in sequence, okay. They are running in sequence. So now let me explain the circuit here. When this start push button is pressed, okay. Okay, when it, when it is pressed, K1, K1 and T1, the contactor one and the, the timer, the two of them would energize at the same time. When I press this one, okay, the line closes. And then the K1 and this T1, they all energize at the same time. Okay, so when the K1 energizes, okay, this contact, they all close. The, this, this contact close, okay. So this contact is serving as a hold on contact for the K1 and then the T1 so that when I remove my hand so because this contactor is energized this side is closed okay so current will still flow through to keep them energized okay now when the timer energized it also started counting so let's say we set the timer at let's say 6 seconds or 10 seconds they are dependent on whatever time you give to the timer okay after the preset time this side will close this open contact on the timer, it will close. When it closes, it energizes the Q2, the contactor 2, or the motor 2. So it means that this circuit, the, the, the motors or the contactors, okay, they operate in sequence. Always contactor 1 would have to be in operation for some time before contactor 2 would also energize, okay? So this is a simple automatic sequential circuit, okay? Using two contactors and then a timer, okay? Yeah, and then a timer. So in sequential circuits, it is not only timers that you use. You can use sensors to uh, inductive proximity sensors to do the second switching. Okay, you can use limit switch, mechanical limit switch to do the switching. Okay, you can use pressure switches. A, a, a whole lot depending on the circuit you are designing. So step by step, we are learning sequential circuit. Okay, so now let's get started with the wiring. So. We pick our cable, okay? Pick our cables and then the start push buttons. So please, if you want to understand the timer wall, okay? Kindly watch the video I did on this timer, okay? Yeah, kindly watch it. Only on delay timer, only. Only on delay timer. I carefully explain it well. So please, if you want to understand it well, okay, kindly watch it. Okay. Yeah, this timer consists of two circuits. Yeah. 
So kindly watch it and then understand it well. So now let's continue. So from okay, the breaker, the main life, the breaker, the main line one comes to the one on the stop. Okay. So this is the one. Okay. I also have a part one video on sequential circuit, so please kindly watch that one too. That one I carefully explained it well, okay? It's a manual one. So if you want to understand it well, kindly watch that one first before you watch this one, okay? So that you understand it so well. Yo, so engineers, this is the complete wiring, okay? Yeah, let me explain. The diagram once again so that you continue now when i press this start push button okay the k1 and the timer they will energize and then the timer will count after some after the preset time okay this k2 will energize so now let's demonstrate let's demonstrate so i'm pressing the start push button okay let's look at the k1 and then the timer okay you see that it is energized now after the, after the preset time this contactor will come on. You see that? So they started in sequence. They started in sequence. Let me demonstrate once again. So let me off it. Let me press the stop push button. Yes, they are off now. Okay. So now let me press this. Start pitch button again. You see this one. Yo, so engineers, thank you for watching. Okay, please, if you want to understand the on delay timer, okay, this type of timer, the only timer I use here. Okay, so I'll urge you to kindly watch this video. This video top here at the top here. Just watch it. Okay, and also if you want to understand. The sequential circuit from the start, the manual side, and also watch this video down here. This very one, this one, okay. Kindly watch it, okay. And you really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, okay. Hit the bell icon.